Hi, I'm the Casually Cursing Cook, and welcome to my fucking channel. Today, we're going to be making fabulous fucking French onion soup. Now here's the stupid ass ingredients you're going to need, and the utensils you're going to need. You're going to need some thyme, some red wine, obviously a big ass knife, some fucking measuring cups, beef base. This is very important. Don't cheap out and buy bouillon or anything else. It has to be beef base. Don't be a piece of shit. And you got two big ass onions. You need about two big ass onions to make this. All right, so there's your ingredients, there's your utensils. Let's get started on this shit. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna chop the onions. Probably with a sharper fucking knife than I have. With the sticker on. Well, that doesn't matter because you're throwing that part in the trash. Uh, cameraman's not a cook, so. Exactly, that's why you're holding the camera. Shut up, do your job. All right. <laughs> So we're gonna turn our stove on, get that going, because you're gonna wanna burn the fucking onions. Where, where where do we put it? High, low, medium? Good question for the, the people out there that don't know what the hell they're doing. You don't have to just center in just on the uh, onions there, cameraman. I have a face. Jesus. All right, put it on low. <laughs> Not low, actually it's on seven, so that's about medium high there, rookie. Jesus. Let me get to what I'm doing. You have a different onion than what I, I'm, I'm oven than what I cook with. Uh -huh. I cook with the ones that were the number seven and eight, medium high. Alright. Alright, so you're gonna peel your onions, obviously. It's not fucking rocket science. Take it. Oh, wait, that's right. You probably suck and aren't as good as me. Slow chops. And make loud noises. Well, it's because I don't have a cutting board. Fair. Now, you're gonna wanna cut it sideways like this. So, see, I can't cut it slow. Like, it just doesn't work. Doesn't you work. cut it like this, you're gonna have long, stringy ass onions. You don't want that. No. You turn it on its side and you go at it like this. And yes, it's loud ass noises. Or I'm gonna cut the shit out of myself. Because my knife is not prepared for this. But whatever, we're making the fucking video, right? Yeah. Chop, chop, chop. Sure my fucking neighbors love me, but what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I'm Tell them sure they that. do. I'm just gonna go fast because I'm a professional. professional. You got the idea of chopping this shit slowly. Yeah. Ignorant. <laughs> hey, cameraman, you wanna come check it out? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, these onions, you're putting nothing in the pan with these onions, just the onions. Don't be a dumbass and think you need butter or sugar or any of that stupid shit. Put sugar in the pan before they do it unless they're making dessert. Uh, friends of mine <laughs> who uh, will go unnamed thinks that every time they make my French onion recipe that they need to put fucking brown sugar in it. But in reality, they're just dumb. Meh. No, they're, they're a good friend of mine. I love him. He knows who he is. Probably yeah. watching this right now and laughing. Yeah. Every time he asks me, he says the same thing. Okay, so chances are we're not going to use every onion. Both of the fucking onions because, like I said, they're big ass fucking onions. Um, you want to use sweet sweet white onions. You use anything else and your French onion's gonna taste like shit. Okay, so now, you wanna get in there real good, make sure all your onions are nice and broke up, don't burn yourself. Make sure it sizzles. You wanna hear that good shh. Because basically what you're doing is burning <laughs> the shit out of the onions. Yeah. I know that sounds stupid, because recipes say caramelize the onions. No, no, no. No. Burn the shit out of those onions. You want them to be, you'll see. Yeah. Okay, now the time. I guess I'll use a measuring cup, even though real chefs don't do that, and it's weird. Mm -hmm. But you're going to want about one tablespoon of thyme. Well, I'm going to say about a teaspoon. We'll see what that does. Now, mind you, I'm scaling down this recipe from a restaurant recipe that I have that I use in restaurants. So, we're going to say a tablespoon. Change never hurts. Now, the thing is, is that with thyme, you put too much of that shit in there, <laughs> You're gonna fuck your whole soup up. It's gonna taste like shit. No. You're gonna have fucking thyme water. All right. Now we're at the stage. Hopefully you're not recording over there. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. My cameraman's a little bit of a knucklehead. Excuse me? You might know her as Emily Rose 35 famous YouTuber. Aww. She's currently on YouTube suspension, though, so we can't show her face. <laughs> but you can hear... But you can hear her mouth, it's one of her best traits. 
<laughs> okay, now, these onions, you're just basically going to burn the shit out of them. This is about to be boring part for you guys, because it's going to take about 10 minutes. Don't record where I'm at. I'm not. Watch them cook. Watch the onions, son. Okay, you don't need to watch onions cook for real. Yay. Um, now, what we're going to do is step two. Can you not be an extreme close-up on me? Thank you. I'm sure that people don't want to see the bouillon or the beef base so close that it's like coming out of the screen at their faces and shit. So that might be good. You get some free see beef. See if you can ever get the fucking shit open. There you go. All right. See, look. It looks like baby shit. Yeah. That's how you know it's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I'm going to use a <coughs> container. But you don't need to film. I know. Well, I just need to keep reiterating. Look at the baby food that <laughs> looks like barbecue sauce. No offense to you, but sometimes you're a dumbass. So I feel like I need to tell you stuff. When you come back, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> hey, would I be the casually cursing cook if I didn't curse at my own daughter? You know what parents I live with. I All don't right. care. Let's see. These fuckers are taking forever as I figured they would. Okay, now. Everything takes forever. Since I'm a jackass and I don't have a big enough bowl, I'm just going to show you how to make the beef broth real fast. Alright. Once again, I'll use a measuring cup even though I don't like to because that's what rookies do. Rookies. No, I understand. It takes a while to learn. You have to fucking figure this shit out. Best way to cook though is just fucking go by taste, seasoning, knowledge, basic kind of stuff. Put too much in there, it's going to taste like too much shit. Yep. Alright. Common sense, something I don't have. All I ever do. Is take your standard whisk yep. and go like that. Mm-hmm. Now, what I'm going to tell you non-chef people is that's about a half a cup. Yeah. The half a cup you're going to use with about, I want to say about a half a gallon of water. Half a gallon. That's See two, you. That's two quarts Not for all you non-cooking people or people that just don't have a fucking gallon thing laying around. Yep. Who does, though? Google this shit. It's not fucking rocket science. How many uh, quarts are in a gallon? Four, dumbass. All right. So these onions are still taking fucking forever. But this is very important. They have to burn. Burn! If they don't burn, your French onion's gonna be fucking crunchy, which is garbage. If you ever had French onion, you don't know that. Now, don't be afraid. To tape your beast base. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now hopefully you have it in a bigger container and your half cup is mixed with the half gallon of water. Because yeah. mine's mixed with about a, a pint of water. So right now it tastes like super beefy shit. Eh. But I know what it's going to taste like. I know how much water to add. I've done this. I've been there before. Red wine. You're probably thinking, what's that for? The cook to be fucking drunk while he's making this shit? Yep. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the red wine is for when these fucking onions finally burn. Which they never will. Well, they're, they're getting there. We're going to go ahead and turn the fire up a little bit. Don't have high expectations. Don't burn your house down and then be calling me because you're a fucking moron and don't know how to control your flames and your fucking heat. Just because I put it on high doesn't mean I don't, I'm don't. i going to burn the shit down. I know what the hell I'm doing. Yep. And if we do, we get evicted. Now, if you watch <laughs> enough of my videos, I'll stop calling you newbies and amateurs and dumbasses because you'll actually know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> you'll be out here making fabulous fucking French onion soup on your own time. Yep. That's how it works. So I know a lot of you are wondering, like, Bill, how do we know that this actually is fucking fabulous bunch on your soup? Well, you're going to have to make it and find out, because you ain't going to come to my fucking house and have some, that's for damn sure. Yep. The thing is, you can go to any one of the restaurants <coughs> I work at and get it, but, I mean, what the fuck is that? Make shit yourself. Right. Be independent. Okay, as they're still burning, as the onions burn, you just sit there and watch them burn. At this point, your smoke alarms will go off, the most annoying things in the world. That's why you take the batteries out of them fucking things. Yeah. Just kidding. You already... And don't burn your house down and come blame and build on his YouTube channel and be like, fucking stupid cursing cook fuck face. You told me to do that and burn my fucking house down because I'm a dumbass. That's your own problem. Yeah. Here, why you come over here and check out these items. <coughs> All right. I see a lot of people get antsy and be like, but Bill, they're starting to, de they're starting to, to, to become see-through and caramelize. Doesn't that mean that they're done? Yeah, yeah, it does if you're making fucking onions for a steak, stupid ass. Haven't you heard him a million times say to burn it? You'd be surprised how many people I've told this recipe to, and they don't burn the onions. Burn it! What the fucking red wine's for, dumbasses? It's called deglazing. 
all that fucking beautiful burnt onion <laughs> flavor and sugar that comes from the onions. Believe it or not, onions have tons of fucking natural sugars in them. Ooh. Really? Come here, look, get in there. See how we're getting that nice burn Feel. look on the pan there? Yep. That means they're getting there. Mm-hmm. Now, sugar, back to the sugars. Onions have their own sugar, which is why I don't use any fucking butter or anything like that to fucking saute them. You want them to release that sugar. Release. Granted, it smells like holy hell in here because I have an electric stove. Just sucks ass. <laughs> no kidding. The next, the next videos of the Casually Cursing Cook will be at our new fucking house, which has a gas stove, which Yay. is the way that you're supposed to fucking cook. Yeah. Because this electric shit's for the birds. Which means my vlogs will be there, so you'll see what it looks like. Go subscribe now. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't subscribe to this shit, I know who you people are. You're all friends of mine on Facebook. I'm gonna fucking come haunt your asses. Subscribe to me, too. Well, they already have subscribed to you. I pimp you up. Yay! I'm constantly telling people on Facebook to watch your fucking videos. Trust me, they'll probably hate you. <laughs> nah, they love you. They Yay. love you and they love your videos. Look, it's almost there. But it's not almost, quite. Not quite. Not quite. I know you're thinking, like, what should I be doing during this time? Well, not all of you are YouTubers, so you don't get to make these fucking videos and talk to the camera like, you know, there's a hundred people in the fucking room. <laughs> when really it's just you and your kid. Yeah. So, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. I don't really give a shit. Yep. Go on your phone, see how many likes your last picture got. Watch Bob's Burgers. Watch Bob the Burgers, yeah, watch Bob's Burgers, man. That'd be fucking hilarious. Ah, uh, believe me, I know. So, we're almost at the burn stage. We are getting there. Now, probably if I leave them alone, they'll probably get there. Look at that. Okay. You say you, but watch this. Don't eat it. <laughs> Oniony, sweet deliciousness. I'm probably not gonna like this video at all because I don't like onions. I don't really give a rat's ass what you like. Eh. If I was making this video for you, I'd be making some stupid shit. Huh. It's called My Little Pony Doll Cake. Now, here's how you make grilled cheese and tomato soup, because. That or macaroni and cheese is just the only damn thing I can get my daughter to eat. Don't mention the thing that I'm gonna cook. <laughs> Don't mention it. Do no problem. No problem. I won't mention your special guest chef appearance. Yes. Even though you did. Well, surprise guests. I did no such thing. Okay, come here. Are you in on those onions? Yes. Do they look burnt? Pretty much. Rookie. Hey! Your French onion would be shit. That was a test. I'm 10 years old. Well, how many of the viewers there were like, oh yeah, those are, those are done, number burn. All, all of them. Oh, you're wrong too, dumbasses. <laughs> so, let's see. Again, if you watch enough of my videos and learn how to cook some stuff, you won't be dumbasses anymore. I'll call you guys sweethearts or whatever you want. Don't call them sweethearts, that's not what this channel is about. Thank you for reminding me of my artistic vision of Casually Everybody can cook. kiss my ass. <laughs> it's a very artistic vision and don't visualize it for very too long. We now return you to our regularly scheduled program of Bill's an Asshole. I had one friend on my page request that I bring some of the old Bill. Because oh. he used to work with Bill and he knows that sometimes Bill would get angry as hell about shit if things don't go his way when cooking shit. But unfortunately for you, Mr. Aaron Harloff, I know how to fucking make French onion soup, so I ain't gonna be too much angry Bill in here. Okay, he, come here. He is the soup master. Get this tight, shot tight in there. See that? I gotta back up a bit. Yep, I see Feel it. that burn? Yep. You're probably thinking, oh shit, he ruined his soup. No! Oh, what a fucking moron. Did you not hear him 12 times say, burn it? Okay, this is important because you put too much of this shit in here, all your people are gonna be drunk. Just kidding, obviously the wine cooks up. <laughs> Take about a quarter of a cup. You're just yep. deglazing it. Ooh, God. That beautiful fucking sound. That made quite the noise. Yeah, well, what that's doing is, is taking that's... all that burnt caramel from the natural sugars. That will set off your smoke alarm. Yeah, unless you're dumb, you know, smart and have a fucking exhaust fan and use it. Yep. All right, so mm -hmm. look at your onions. They look like brown and disgusting shit. Yes, indeed. Now it's time to add your beef base. Beef base. Now, again, looks like that's baby about food. two quarts of water mm -hmm. to what? Half a cup of beef mm -hmm. base. Beef base. Indeed. Again, I don't have a fucking two quart container, so, so. I'm just going with what I know. 
because he's done this millions of times. Don't be afraid to taste your shit. How is it not burning your mouth off? Because I'm a cook and I do this shit every day. Don't, most of you don't do that. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, unless you guys are sissy or whatever. Yeah. Like me? Yeah. Okay, so this is pretty much the last step to making fabulous fucking French onions. Yep. As you see, you got your beef broth in there, you got your onion sauteed, nice and caramelized, burnt to a crisp. Now look at all this wine you got left. What the hell are you gonna do with all this wine? Save it for the next recipes. That or, you know, if you're one of the ladies that like to drink wine, you could probably go ahead and knock that fucker back while you're waiting for your soup to boil. <laughs> That's what guess. they should have done. I mean, wait a minute. You ladies are dainty. I mean, you probably have, you know, one glass or something to dinner instead of everything. Hold on. Let me come punch you. <laughs> like, enjoy your four glasses and four bottles of wine with dinner. Also, I will punch him a bunch on this channel, so. Yeah, that never happens. Sure, it doesn't. So, basically, here's the, here's the thing. When your French onion soup <coughs> is boiled, it is done. Remember, if you leave it on there too long, it's gonna get too beefy and then it's gonna taste like shit. It's gonna be all salty and horrible. I like salt. Well, you probably like French onion soup. Now, after it's boiled, it's hot, it's good to go, you're done. Good. You wanna get yourself some mozzarella cheese, some provolone cheese, and some croutons. Yes. Because the only way to have French onion soup is with croutons and some melted cheese in it. Yes. No, I'm not going to take that extra step of melted cheese. I don't think I have any fucking cheese. And who has time for that? No one. Everyone. Mm, not but us. Being smart and actually remembering the, you know. Ingredients. Fucking cheese would help, but mm. I'm pretty sure you all know what the hell French onion soup looks like and it's supposed to look like when it's done in the bowl and covered in fucking cheese and goo and deliciousness. Unlike me, because I've never had it or seen it. fucking fabulous thank you tune in next week where we make chicken noodle soup i will be partaking in taking the last bite of that what is going to be the name of the chicken noodle soup though cock -a -doodle. i don't want to say ch fucking chicken noodle soup because that doesn't rhyme original as hell eh, that does, and that doesn't rhyme chicken soup bitches yes there you go all right well have a good night. Actually, I don't care. Bye. Bye.